Akio Toyoda, CEO of Toyota, made an investment of $50 million in Tesla in exchange for 2.5% of the firm in 2010. Standing next to Elon Musk, Toyota never expected Tesla to be dangerous to its company. Tesla is already worth more than three times Toyota's market value, and Akio Toyoda is worried about the future of his company. Hey guys, what's up? I am Fred, and welcome to Investing Wise Academy. In this video, let's talk about how Toyota plans to outsell Tesla with its non-EV automobiles. But before we do that, make sure to like this video and let's begin. After Toyota and Tesla teamed together in 2010, the RAV4 EV was released in 2011. The car was only marketed in California and had a driving range of 100 miles at about $50,000. It's safe to say that there weren't many RAV4 EVs sold. However, the cooperation was more than just a sales boost for the RAV4 EV. It was done to assist Toyota in satisfying the California Air Resources Board's EV standards and to help Tesla earn income and increase battery manufacturing. Toyota sought to become less risk-averse, according to Akio Toyota. Tesla possesses a challenging attitude, rapid decision-making and adaptability that Toyota would want to learn from. Initially, Toyota was unaware that the culture he described as the key roadblock to a successful joint venture, the Tesla-Toyota relationship ended in 2014 due to a significant cultural mismatch. One side had Toyota's cautious production method, while the other had Zillow. And on the other hand, Tesla's risk-taking strategy was derived from Silicon Valley. Toyota sold some of its own in the company at the end of 2014. The company's entire ownership of Tesla was divested before the end of 2016. Afterward, Tesla built a shop in Toyota's hometown of Nagoya in Japan. Looking back, Toyota's stake in Tesla would be worth $17.3 billion now if the corporation had held on to this stake. Toyota would get about 346,000% of their money, or 346 times what they put into Tesla. Today, Toyota has made a few competing statements about Tesla and Elon Musk. Additionally, Toyota is working on a vehicle that they predict will outsell Tesla. Toyota's CEO was furious when Tesla overtook it in market capitalization by the end of 2020. Akio Toyota claimed that Tesla claims their formula will be the norm in the future. Toyota, on the other hand, has a full kitchen and chef. Toyota said, we're losing money on the stock market, but we have various things that clients may choose from. According to Toyota, its diverse portfolio of vehicles include electric vehicles, hybrids, internal combustion engines, and hydrogen-powered automobiles, among others. Following the example, Toyota continued by telling Bloomberg that they are not creating an actually genuine product. The recipe is all that's being sold here. The chef and kitchen are ours, and we cook authentic cuisine in them. To be honest, Toyota CEO Akio Toyoda's statement on this topic appears to be excessively closed-minded. Who cares if Toyota owners have a recipe book in their garage when everyone else has an actual car? Toyota's comments may have left you perplexed, but there's more to it than meets the eye. He doesn't see electric vehicles as a viable option in the coming decade. And that in the end, the winner must be able to drive various automobiles. Within a month of his cooking comparison, Toyota issued a dire warning to the general electric vehicle EV sector. This was in reaction to the development of Tesla and other electric vehicles manufacturers. Toyota said at a news conference that the present economic model of the auto industry will collapse if the industry moves to electric vehicles too soon. He then projected that the infrastructure needed to operate a 100% electric fleet in Japan would cost Japan between $135 billion 
and 358 billion US dollars. Furthermore, Toyota noted that EVs are not ecologically benign because power is generated by burning coal and natural gas in most nations. He said, the more electric vehicles we develop, the worse the carbon dioxide gas. Let's get rid of all gasoline-powered cars when politicians say so. Are they aware of what I'm saying? According to the Union of Concerned Scientists, the claim that electric vehicles release more carbon dioxide than internal combustion engines has been refuted. Even though electric vehicles or EVs emit carbon dioxide during power generation, this amount is far less than that produced by internal combustion engines throughout the vehicle's lifetime. Using these data, Toyota is promoting the idea that electric vehicles aren't that way. With this information in mind, you can probably figure out what Toyota's strategy is to outsell Tesla. However, this would be incorrect because contrary to Toyota's claims, the automaker is making considerable investments in electric vehicles and hydrogen and hybrid models. After all, hydrogen is the planet's most abundant element, so hydrogen technology seems like a logical next step. Despite this, its technology is incredibly inefficient. In Elon Musk's term, hydrogen is outrageously stupid, he says. The head engineer in charge of the Yoda's hydrogen operation stated that Elon Musk is correct in his assessment of the situation. Plugging in the electric automobile is the best way to charge it. In 2012, Toyota began researching a new battery that may quadruple the driving range of electric vehicles, possibly up to 1,000 kilometers, and is even more affordable. This battery would be a sodium ion battery, lightweight and inexpensive. Sodium is the sixth most prevalent element in the Earth's crust. Although this battery still seems like a long time away, we'll be more interested in Toyota's solid-state battery that Toyota expects to be available in 2023. Toyota is now at the top of the heap regarding solid-state batteries. Solid-state technology has over 1,000 patents held by the car maker. Reviewing solid-state batteries in a nutshell means looking at the critical distinctions between current EV batteries and those found in Toyotas. Lithium-ion batteries are typically filled with an electrolytic solution. The electrolyte in solid-state batteries should be replaced with a solid electrolyte instead of the solution. This is why solid-state batteries have higher energy densities than electrolyte solutions. Solid-state batteries appear to be a good idea on paper at least. It's been clear for some time now that solid-state batteries would never be practical. With a range of 310 miles, Toyota says that its solid-state batteries can charge from 0 to 100% in 10 minutes. Although Toyota claims to have a solid-state battery ready in 2021, it won't be prepared for commercial use until 2025, which is why Toyota's claim isn't shocking. Toyota claims to release six new electrified vehicles between 2020 and 2025. However, the firm isn't confident in its current roster. Toyota estimates that just 500,000 electric vehicles will be sold worldwide by 2025. On the other hand, Tesla has hopes to sell a few million. This is mainly because, as I said earlier, Toyota's CEO thinks the company will do best if it makes a wide range of vehicles. We don't expect Toyota to go bankrupt over the next five years, even though the company's management is stubborn. Toyota has long-term debt of $10 billion and short-term cash on hand of $5.6 billion. Even though this appears to be a significant amount of debt at first glance, the firm has continued to be profitable during the pandemic. Consequently, Toyota may face financial difficulties only if electric vehicles take over the market. Even if Toyota is late to the electric vehicle game, the company will not be the first to go bankrupt in this industry. Toyota's manufacturing operations are significantly more lucrative and efficient than those of Ford and GMF. 
both of which have far poorer balance sheets. Let me know if you believe Toyota will prevail over Tesla or go bankrupt in the next decade or so. Do you think the plan of Toyota's CEO will work? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to get updated on our latest videos. Again, this is Fred and don't forget to like this video and see you next time.